Good day world and welcome to another installment of Striving Young Professionals. My name is Honore Lassane and I am of course a Striving Young Professional. I pray world that you all have been having a great weekend and a great week thus far. Very excited for everything that's going on with Striving Young Professionals and just with everyone else out there in the world. I'm excited for what's happening in your lives because I know you guys are proactively making the positive change for the lives of others and the lives of yourselves as well. Thank you so much again. We reached 100 likes. Thank you so much. Make sure you don't stop there. Spread the word. Let everyone know there are still more people who need to be motivated on a daily basis, who needs inspiration on a daily basis. And this is a great venue to help those individuals out. So make sure you share it. As I know you get motivated, I get motivated. So let's help others get motivated as well. I'm at 100 likes. I want to go to the next level. Let's get like 120. 150, even 200. Let's keep it moving. Thanks so much. Loving today's quote. I hope you all liked the yes, uh, last time's quote. Um, it was very simple, very effective, uh, very good. So I liked it a lot. This one's pretty good as well. It's kind of simple also. Keeping it kind of simple with these, but loving the impact that the simple words are having. And we'll jump right into that. So today's quote says, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Again, the quote is, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and accept to win. Uh, this is a quote by Zig Ziglar. I kind of want to get this piece by piece because I, I, I think it's good. Let's first understand we all are born winners, folks. You know, we all have the capacity to win. We all have the capacity for success. God created you to be successful. God created you to be a winner. That That's just what's predestined for you. You are to be a winner. So it really uh, hurts. It really hurts and it's really discouraging to see when people um, behave in a manner that does not reflect that of winning because they don't realize at some point they have lost the realization that they were born and made to win. You all are born and made to win. So that's the first thing we need to understand, and that's why I love this quote. You were born to win. However, I, I like this. There's a however in this. And you would think, oh, man, there's a however in winning. Yes, there's a however in winning. But to be a winner, you must plan to win. You cannot, you cannot be successful in life without a plan. As they say, you plan to win, and, 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 and those who plan to win can be winners. If you, if you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail. You know, if you, it, it's, it's just one of those things. You have to put a plan together. If you don't have a vision, if you don't have a course of action, if you don't have a sense of direction about whatever it is you want to accomplish in life, then you will not accomplish it because you will be wandering. And a person who wanders has no purpose, and a person who has no purpose has no direction. And a, per and a person who has no direction will ultimately go nowhere. So, you know, that is just out of control and I don't want you all living in an out of control life world. Let's make a plan. I understand you were born to win. I understand that I was born to win. But in order for me to reach that level of winning and to live a life of winning, I must first plan to win. Then after I plan that winning, I have to prepare for it. You prepare your place for whatever the expectation is. If you don't prepare the place for the expectation, then you won't have it because you're not believing. That's another level of your belief system. If you believe you were born a winner and you start to plan winning, then you need to prepare for it because you believe and have an expectation that it's going to happen. And if you don't believe that it's not going to happen, then it's not going to happen because you're not prepared. So prepare yourself. I was having a conversation the other day and I was saying, if you place whatever it is in the universe and you prepare for whatever it is that you want in the universe, then it is going to happen because you are preparing and you are believing for it. And if you are believing in some things, man, you can move mountains with belief. Just the size of a mustard seed of faith can move mountains. And if you prepare yourself to be able to move mountains, the mountain will move. If you, if you have the faith and you just kind of think that you can do it, but you don't prepare for that winning, then you will not move that mountain. You will not have that winning attitude and you will not create that winning atmosphere and a winning result. So prepare for it because if you believe in yourself and you have faith in whatever the situation may be, you will prepare for it. And when you prepare for it, you will win. Also, expect to win. Preparing creates a sense of expectation. I expect success in my life. So therefore, I plan for that success. 
I prepare myself for that success and I plan for it consistently and because I do that I have an expectation for success I think and um, expect nothing less than success for my life I expect nothing less than success for my business life I, I expect nothing less than success for my spiritual and my emotional life and my social life as well because I prepare for it. I believe that, I, that I'm supposed to have success. I prepare for it. I plan for it. And there's an expectation in it. And when there's that expectation, my actions follow suit. So I encourage you, world, to follow suit and that you do this thing today. And from this day on, you believe that you were born a winner uh, but understand that for you to win, you must plan to win, you must prepare yourself to win, and you must have that expectation because when you have that expectation, your actions will follow as such. So thank you so much for being with me today, world. I'm so excited. I love these things. I'm so glad that you all are participating with me in these activities. It's outstanding. You know you can find me on www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com. Also, you can find me on my Facebook fan page. Make sure you stop by and you like it. Striving Young Professionals is my fan page. Also, hit me up on Twitter. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. SY Professionals is my Twitter page. And also, you can follow me on my YouTube TV channel. You can subscribe to it. You can like it. Or you can comment on it. I prefer you do all three. But one of them would be great. Also, I want to give my shout-outs to my man, Arthur Black. What's up, Black K, man? Appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you spread the word. Let everyone else know so that they can stop by and like my Facebook fan page. Also, thank you, Sean P, man. We go back. Since like fat crayons. What's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you share this with everyone else as well. Talented young brother. Extremely talented young brother. And I do believe that one day you will be hearing his name on the marquees and on the radio. Seeing his name on marquees and hearing him on the on the radio stations. Kia, thank you so much. Another Carol C Kenya. Thank you so much. Another Carol City Chief. Thank you so much for your support. And Kia as well. Thank you for your support and sharing me. She gives me mad Twitter love, so I do appreciate that. Jonathan, man, thank you. I haven't heard from him in so in so long, and it's just good to see him. And he gave me some encouraging words. So I do thank you very much, brother, for your support. Uh, as you continue to pray for me, I'll pray for you. So thank you so much, brother. And Asa, thank you so much for your support. Make sure you share this with other people. Let them know what's going on. Uh, let them know what I'm doing because I will greatly appreciate it. So until then, world. Uh, you can find me, like I said, www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com. Also, you can like my Facebook fan page. Make sure you do that, Striving Young Professionals. And you can hit me up on Twitter, SY Professionals. And you can find me on YouTube, SY Professionals, as well. So, until the next time, world, keep your day motivated. Know that you're a winner. Plan today to be a winner. Prepare yourself to win and have an expectation of winning on today. So, until then, I will see you at the top of your passions. Thank you.